Hi guys, hope you're well. I filmed recently a video about the role of ghostwriters and translators in the publishing industry and I did hint in that video that it would be interesting as someone who is bilingual to check out how translated works may impact your reading experience. So I'm actually finishing off Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney in English and I did manage to find the same book as an audio version also in French so right now I'm going to finish this and I will then listen to the French version to see if I prefer the original English version or the French version but essentially we follow two best friends apparently so we follow two best friends Alice and Eileen Alice is a successful writer and Eileen is she works at a some like edition like publishing thing <laughs> and they live different lives I can't even oh, this is not going well but this is a fun exercise to have so you have Alice and Eileen Alice um, left Dublin and she now lives in like, some random town <laughs> and she met she meets Felix and like they have their thing going on and Eileen is from what we understand, she broke up with her ex and she is very close with Simon, who also know Simon also knows Alice. And the 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 way the book is constructed is we follow both Alice and Eileen's plots in different chapter, but the way that we understand the friendship is through email exchange. And from there we understand about their love life, how the way they see the world and all stuff like that so yes and the important themes in this book are friendship love um i want to say that life pulls grad um well it's not like oh once i finish uni but it's more so how after uni because that's how alice and eileen know each other their life just went dif different ways and you just see them in their late 20s um how they're navigating their lives so that's not that's also, that's an important theme and then also the theme of religion and sexuality are also interesting so yeah oh that was i think i think i, I think i ate that that summary yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see now about this book i've already read it once for another video that might come way later i think i still have footage of my first time reading this book i'll just show them to you right now i just read the next page i don't like alice ew She's not nice to her friend. They're not friends. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is she talking to him? She's I really don't like Alice. I do you know what I said? I said, oh I, I think I'm no, I'm not I'm nothing like her. Hey! The way she's talking about Simon is possible. See, this is Felix's fault because he's so intrusive. He's like, oh what's wrong with your family? What's wrong with your like you can't shut up? Oh, it's not possible. Well, they're not gonna have a forward tango dance. Like, I thought, no. The reason I'm saying that is because Felix seems to be attracted to everyone. So I'm like, he probably is gonna do something, but I'm happy that nothing's happening because Alex ruined it. And I thank her for that. Reading this a second time, I still hate Felix. I still hate this man. I do not know what's wrong with him. I, 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 he's just like, what? why are you talking? Ew, I don't like him. I really don't like him. You know what? By, by association, I don't like Alice either. So, yeah. They actually fit together as a couple. I don't know, but... <laughs> I hate this one so much. Wow. To be honest, reading this a second time, and also the fact that I'm reading this both as, like, reading the words and with the other book alongside, I do find... I don't feel as paying attention to the writing style. I think I'm just reading for the plot. I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? But I, sh I, we shall see. But I still hate Felix. I, I need to let the people know that I don't like this man. I also feel like with the audiobook, I am paying more attention to like the email conversations. When I was first reading the book, I was like, what are we talking about? Like, why are we talking about Greeks and like the capitalism and and like what? I'm just, I don't. Like, it, for me, it really disrupted the flow of the plot. But now with the audiobook, it doesn't disrupt as much. But I still don't... I don't know. I, I don't know. I still, I'm still not really a fan. We shall see. 
Maybe in fresh it will be better. I don't know. Okay, a little update. So today is Tuesday and Monday morning I finished beautiful I keep I keep wanting to say beautiful people but it's not that. It's beautiful world where are you? I finished the audio. Really happy. Do I still hate Felix? Yes I do. Do I still hate others? Yes I do. <sighs> wow. Honestly, I keep telling myself why do I keep reading this book if I don't like these characters? But I would rather read this than reading normal people. Like trying to do normal people because I love normal people so much. But I'm afraid that the French version will like ruin the experience for me. I don't know. But I did manage to find a French version for Beautiful World. When I first borrowed the book online, I thought there wasn't an audio version available. So I was like, oh, maybe it's going to... The experience might not be the same. So I was just asking myself, should I just read in French without the audio version the other book but i haven't started yet there's an option she said read aloud so i can just do that and let's see if it works i think it, you don't have to select the text it will just read for you okay, one thing i can say when i was reading the audiobook with the book in english was sometimes i felt like i had to keep up although i do put the audio like really rapidly because I, I don't have the no, like I have to watch past anyway sometimes I felt like a bit like I had to like catch up but in French I know that if I don't pay attention I can still understand like if I'm like like I can still manage to understand well like I don't because I can still understand well if I do this in English but I don't think I can memorize the information as good as if I'm doing this but in French do you understand what I mean? Okay, one thing I'll also say is that <laughs> the French, like this is like Siri. It's not the like a proper audiobook, so obviously the experience of reading aloud is it's not going to be as great as the ones that I read in. Also, I should take the opportunity whenever I do an audiobook, I should also say who read aloud because not it might not be always be the author. So also have to you know shout out to to what is it. <laughs> to the narrator, yes. 19 h 4 puis 5, puis 6. Elle a examiné ses ongles sans vraiment s'y intéresser. À 19 h 8 un homme a franchi le seuil. Mince, brun, visage étroit. Felix does look like this in my head. Yeah. Oh my god. And also, wait, I had, did not mention this the other time. As I was finishing the book, every time. Okay, can, can I spoil? Yes. Okay, anytime. Uh, what's her name? I was like, I love you. And then Felix was like, yeah, I know. Like, Ew, just say, oh my god, like, I really appreciate it. Like, uh, yeah, I know. Like, oh, yuck. And uh, after the fight, and then I was like, oh my god, I think I'm just going to, like, and it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> Felix? This man does not know how to communicate. And Alice is still with him? Oh, yay, yay. And then he has the audacity to say to Eileen, why, why did you come? She just told her she was broke. It's okay, not, like she has the money to like just fly in and... This... Ugh, okay. I don't want to have this man. Ugh! Regardez dégouliner le long du verre. Alors comme ça, tu viens d'emménager dans le coin. A Théhildi, c'est ça Elle a acquiescé, bu une gorgée et s'est passé la langue sur la lèvre supérieure. Et pourtant, A Théhildi demandait, qu'est-ce que tu veux dire C'est rare que des gens viennent habiter ici. Amour, amour, amour toujours. Alice. Ok. Reading it again made me realize how since chapter 1, Felix was unbearable. Unbearable. I was just like, oh my god. The girl at the bar, she must she must know what we're doing. And then he's like, that's none of your business. Oh my god. Calm your tits. What the hell? Okay guys, so I finished both the English and French version. Okay, so I don't want to compare how long it took me to read the English version versus how it took me the French version because I have a couple days before submitting my last exams, my last assignments. So I really was trying to focus on that. And, um, but I still managed to finish both books. So that's good. I mean, if you do want to know how long it took me. Yeah, I know I've read this book three times. I know, I know, I'm, I am aware, yes. Okay, so for the English version, 
what ended up happening was I started the book on June 6th and I read it until chapter 9 and so it was like from June 6th to the 21st of June and then the 27th of July I started back from chapter 9 until the 5th of August so that's why I didn't want to take it into account um, but in comparing to the French version I read from the 6th of August until the 12th of August. Oh, so exactly six days. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's cool. First of all, I want to talk about the reading experience. So for both the French and the English version, so for both versions, I had the digital version with an audiobook. Now for the French version, it was a bit more um, <laughs> a low quality experience, entry level experience <laughs> in the sense that I had to essentially do the reading aloud text version and so the reading experience was like the 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 voice was very mono like monotone and at first I chose a French voice from France so when she would say the like Eileen's name she would say Eleon and I'm like you don't say that in French you just say Eileen so I switched back to the a French Canadian accent and she would say Eileen but like the word tinder she would say Tandy I was like oh my god no we just say tinder what no putting that aside I think although English is the like original version of the book I found myself paying more attention in French especially when it came to the email exchange between Alice and Eileen the first time I read it in English I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, oh, I don't know, like I'm not paying attention. And then the second time, I tried to pay a bit more attention, but it wasn't... I was like, mm, mm. But in French, I could literally not even look at the text and I would still be able to fully understand what was happening, what was going on, the importance of the literature and stuff like that. So yeah, I was paying more attention of the writing style. But then again, I'm like, is it the writing style of Sally Rooney or... Yeah, it is the same time or Sally Rooney, but it's just like translated into French. So then again, I'm like, it's the translator's writing style adapting the original styling. I don't know. I did, yeah. So I did enjoy the fact that I wasn't, I didn't have to read word for word to understand what was happening in in French in the French version. Oh, a big difference as I was reading, how, as I was finishing the book last night was the fact that I'll, I'll just spoil it's fine but there's a, a, a fight happening towards the end of the of the of the book something happens and Alice is like oh my god like my love is over <laughs> well she didn't say it like that and then Felix in on the in the English version I was like Ugh, Felix is such a bitch like why are you saying that when when you're you're I don't know, your situationship is essentially saying, oh my god, my life is over. So I really thought that Felix was like being a bitch. I was like, oh. I mean, I still don't like him. Reading the same passage in French, I was like, well, he's not being a bitch, but I still hate him. I was like, okay. But I do, I've always enjoyed the fact for both normal people and beautiful world, how real the characters are. They have their perks, they have their quirks, and they have their vices or, you know, um, stuff they need to work on. When I read a book, I don't care about whether the character is like tall, small, like I, like she, is she blonde, is she brunette, like I don't care about that. I have to do it with my, my own way and in my head, the best way I can characterize the characters, <laughs> Felix is Homer Simpson. Simon, at first I was like, he's Le Leonardo DiCaprio, literally. But then, the way he behaves, I'm like, he also behaves like Jesus. So I just imagine Leonardo DiCaprio with long hair, that's and a beard. Well, I think he already has a beard, but I don't, I don't know, I don't care. Um, so that's, yeah. And then for both Alice and Eileen, I actually had a hard time to like visualize how they would look. So, um, what's the anime? What's the anime where the, there's a shadow? I think it's from Fullmetal Alchemist. And this is like more so like the ghost in Fullmetal Alchemist. Like the, like, I don't know how to explain it to you. I'll show you a picture. Eileen makes me think of, I don't know why. I just, so yes, essentially because I was paying more attention in French 
I found myself highlighting more passages in French than in English but there are similar passages that I highlight in both versions in English it's more so about the plot that is happening I'm like ooh yikes I'm like ugh he is so annoying whereas in French it was mainly about like the emails and how like the description of the environment of the setting that I was mainly highlighting because I really liked how it was written so yes reading in French made me understand more about like the email ex like the importance of email exchange and how the how both women see the world they live in for example the importance of religion in Simon's character the theme of uncertainty when it comes to Eileen and the fact that she's always sometimes she she's always looking at the past and be like well if this happened or did that happen or see like the like how it works also the relationship the friendship between Alice and Eileen versus Alice and Simon although it's not as present and on the plot but when the fight happens at the end you understand the the friendship that is happening between Alice and Simon so when I when I first read the books I read it in the English version 3.5 out of 10 but reading it a second I was like I don't think this is a 3.5 this is a very average so I <laughs> lowered it down to three because <laughs> it's the writing style is cool it's great it's just i don't know i think it's like the rhythm of the plot in english that i don't know didn't feel great for me and also because and the reason why i put it down to three is because as i was reading the book the french version i realized that i prefer it more in french I love the rhythm. I, I I think I get a better feel of the rhythm of the plot. I, I understand why there's one chapter of the plot and then one the email after it because you get to understand more the themes and through the discussions that the women are having, you understand their you understand who they are more than the plot. I don't know how to explain this. When someone is articulating about a certain topic or a certain chapter, you understand more of who they are. Like through how like how they express themselves, so like you understand like maybe the background or something. I just I'm not explaining this well, but I hope you understood what I'm trying to say. I prefer the French version. Rated the French version at three point five. Comparing the French and the English version for Sally Rooney for a beautiful world, where are you? I give the point to the French version. The English version is the original one. That is so weird because I did enjoy the French version a lot. I want to take the time to acknowledge the translator so i want to acknowledge leticia de Vaux for making a great job at translating beautiful world where are you by celebrating so i hope you liked the video and i will see you guys next time bye